This tutorial introduces the Onbot Java programming environment and demonstrates the advantages of using Onbot Java over Android Studio. Rather than compiling the FTC app on your local development computer, Onbot Java allows you to edit and compile your Java source files directly on the robot controller phone. By connecting your development computer to the robot controller via Wi-Fi Direct, Onbot Java eliminates the need for a physical USB connection between your development computer and the robot controller. The first step in Onbot Java is to connect your computer to the Wi-Fi Direct hosted by your robot controller. So you can see here, this is the robot controller that we're connected to. Tap on Program and Manage and then find the IP address. This will be on your robot controller phone. Once we've found that, we can turn our browser to the IP address mentioned. And then once we're here at the website, we can go to Onbot Java, which is where we will do our Java programming. Source files are shown in a tree on the left side of the screen. These files are stored on the robot controller phone. The main code editor window is seen on the right side. Let's do a simple hello world example, which will print a message on the driver station using a telemetry message. Start by creating a new file and choose one of the templates. We'll use blank linear op mode and we're going to set it to autonomous. Make sure you name it. This template already shows telemetry, so let's customize the message. We're gonna change this right here. When we're done creating our op mode file, we can compile it using the build button. This builds the new op mode onto the phone itself and is available almost immediately. Any errors in the source file will cause error message to appear in the status window below. Make sure your robot controller is connected to the driver station. The text on your robot controller should say network, active, connected. If not, exit out of the program and try again. And here you can see our new op mode. So we'll initialize it, and then play. And as you can see, it says, hello from Onbot Java. As you can see, we don't need to use cables connected to share the code onto the robot controller. In the time it takes to press build on the web interface and to restart the op mode on the driver station, you can have an updated version running. Let's say you wanted to make a change in your op mode. Let's change your telemetry. When I press build, it'll build on the phone again. And now it's immediately available to run. As you can see, our telemetry has changed. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this introduction to Onbot Java.